Hi and welcome to this bite-sized video for GCSE Maths, what we can do to support our foundation students make that progress from grade three to grade four. So on screen here we can see some key areas where we see improved student performance at grade four compared to their counterparts who go on to achieve a grade three. Interesting one under number, we've got standard form, particularly we're seeing more success in uh, standard form questions on our calculator papers now, indicating that students are understanding more successfully how to use their calculator to support with these questions. Uh, grade four students are, are much more successful with those harder equations, so unknowns on both sides, anything involving brackets or fractions, they're tending to be able to get much further into those than their grade three counterparts. They've got a greater uh, understanding of things like angle geometry and a more able to successfully work with questions involving volume. The key one I want to take a look at though is those AO3 problem solving questions, uh, particularly involving ratio in real context. So we'll take a look at some examples on the next slides now. So one example here of what we mean by an AO3 ratio question, this one's from June 2023. We can see in the performance data here that students went on to achieve a grade three, scored an average of 1.31 marks out of a maximum possible three marks, whereas grade four students scored on average 2.32 marks out of the total of three. So a clear discriminator um, of performance at that grade four level. So another example here from uh, June 2022, and again, we see that clear discrimination in terms of the performance at grade three versus grade four. So our grade three students scored on average 1.69 out of a maximum of five marks here, whereas for grade four, they actually scored on average 3.32 out of a maximum of five marks. So grade four students are much more resilient with these types of questions. They're able to make much further inroads into the problem. They're not necessarily getting full marks, but what they are able to do is to get stuck into these questions, show they're working in a logical way that allows them to pick up those critical process marks that are what make the real difference at this grade. So the key here is that students need to be able to be build resilience with these AO3 problem solving questions in order to be successful at grade four. So exposing students to uh, as many of these questions as we can, starting to help them to delve deeper into understanding the mark schemes, what they're going to pick up marks for is going to be really helpful at um, supporting that progress to achieve that grade. So we'll look at some resources that can support that now. First of all, I'd like to uh, highlight the crossover question papers. So these are um, the questions that are crossover, so appear on both foundation and higher uh, in each series. Um, so they are very much these types of AO3 questions. Uh, so building up uh, lots of exposure to these is going to be really critical in supporting your students to achieve that grade four. Another great resource are our foundation tier theme practice papers. These are collections of questions by topic. There's a huge range of these by all different topics, all different styles of questions. Um, and I've just identified on screen some of the key topics that you might like to take a look at to support those students working towards that grade four. Another targeted resource are our aiming for grade four practice papers. There are six sets of these, so a huge bank of resources here. Um, the 45 minute tests, so they're perfect to use within a lesson time. And um, they are made up of questions that we know from past performance that our grade four students have been successful with. So they're actually a really great confidence boost to particularly in that last little lead up towards the exams. Another message that we're seeing in our examiner reports and from everything we see from performance on the papers is that in order for students to be successful at grade four, they've got to be really confident with their calculator skills. We do have a GCSE Maths Using Your Calculator playlist that you can take a look at. Um, you could assign these videos to your students to look at independently, or you might just use it for your own personal reference and take a look through there and, and, and start to plan to explicitly teach some of these calculator skills and dedicate some lesson time to them, um, because it can be really beneficial in terms of helping students to be successful in that real exam. Finally, I just want to take a look at our GCSE Math six week grade four revision program. Um, now, this was originally developed to support research students and it specifically targets 28 key topics that have been identified as key to success at grade four. Um, this whole pack of resources can be found under revision support on the Emporium cabinet. It includes a, a pack of teacher guidance, a student intro pack of which you can see some on screen here, six weekly task booklets. Now these have got within them um, some short starter tasks, so one mark starters, along with some longer 30 minute exam question tasks. So perfect to be using as kind of 
do now work either in lesson or as homework booklets to support that revision in the lead up to exams. There's also included a tracking spreadsheet here so you can monitor your students progress over the six weeks. And these can be used in conjunction with the revision checklists that are also in that same support cabinet on the Emporium. This video is part of your subject advisor support from Pearson. I'm Vicky, subject advisor for maths and statistics, and you can get in touch with me um, in all of those different ways that you can see on screen.